My name is Katia Kolovea. I'm originally from Athens, from Greece. Currently, I'm living in London, working as a lighting designer in Urban Electric. My bachelor degree was, my bachelor studies was actually in Greece and Spain, where I studied uh, interior architecture and product design. But how I got into lighting? So, during my bachelor degree, we didn't really have courses about lighting. We had a short introduction, so I could understand what light does into the space. But the real trigger was an event in Athens. It was a full day conference called Ur Urban Lightscapes. And it was the moment that I realized that lighting is an actual prof profession. And then I had the great opportunity to do an internship in Barcelona in BMLD, Lighting Design Office, which really triggers my interest in lighting and uh, it made me take the next step and do my master degree in architectural lighting design in Stockholm, in Sweden. So yeah, that's how I got into lighting. Uh, in Urban Electric, we create ephemeral lighting installations for fashion events, product launches, private events and immersive experiences. We are merging the architectural qualities with events lighting and film lighting. And what I really like uh, is that we are treating every single project in a different way. So that means a lot of research and experimentation, which is great for learning more and more. What really amazes me is the fact that the pace of the work, because everything is changing very fast. And what we actually design today, we can see the realization of it next week or next month. And that's really dynamic and interesting for me as a designer. Light is everywhere around us and I think that the biggest benefit that we have is the ability to design with light and the knowledge to design with light. The biggest responsibility that, that we have is to educate people for the importance of light and educate them to understand why they have to ask for good quality of light in the places that we go, the places that we eat, the places that we spend time with our friends and so on. I think the interesting fact about lighting design, it's the diversity that it has. So you can work for architectural lighting design, you can concentrate on street lighting, on outdoor lighting, on creating product lighting or um, events lighting on the field that I'm working right now but even like on more scientific perspective and um, realize how light affects our body and the health uh, e perspective. So I think that it's really interesting and diverse. And for a newcomer, I will say that lighting profession is a very welcoming community and which actually support and inspire each other. So you're very welcome, newcomer. The lighting technology is developing very fast. And personally, personally, I would like to see further development on ambient communication, which is how the architecture and the facade lighting, for example, can be linked together from the first beginning with a goal to use data and communicate messages that provide meaningful information to the public. So more media facade, more interactive technologies and more fixtures that provide flexibility to the designers to actually really um, communicate messages in the urban space. I would like also to see the architects collaborating with lighting designers with artists, with programmers, and in order to, uh, to add an extra layer of communication in their projects in the urban space and using the city as a canvas. Yeah, working in Urban Electric, I have discovered my interest on special lenses and mirrors and reflectors which can actually provide a unique quality of light, either if you're using light technology or laser technology. So um, in the studio, we're experimenting a lot with reflective um, mirrors and passive light, which is 
sustainable and f provide also flexibility on every single environment that we are working. And I think that Urban Electric is uh, actually the only company in the UK, uh, at least right now, who works with soft laser lights in the projects. So that's really interesting. And yes, if I had an unlimited budget, I would definitely invest on getting more equipment uh, in the office and playing around with lenses, mirrors, and actually realize how laser light can be implemented in every single project that we do. Yeah, so the project that I'm most proud of is my KTH thesis, which is called uh, Light as a Medium to Enhance Communication in Urban Spaces. And what I did there was to concentrate on sociopolitical, environmental and health issues and realize how light can actually inspire people to unite, engage and take action for the future of the world. I'm very grateful to my tutor, Thomas Silke, for his collaboration and for his support. I strongly believe that in order to achieve change in this world, we need to connect and put our efforts together. So I hope that this research can start a conversation between the general public and the lighting design world. Connecting people together is what creates powerful chains, and we can actually do that with light. So let's do it more. So my biggest challenge the last few months was to find the balance between my full-time job uh, as lighting designer, my new life in a new country, and my excitement to practice my, the public speaking skill. So I participated in two lighting speaking competitions and had my first ever talk in front of professionals in a dark room in September. So the challenge was the time, or maybe the lack of time, which was that, yeah, I had to find the time and the energy after work to work on uh, something that I really love, uh, creating presentations and uh, practice, practice again and again. So that was the actual challenge. And I feel very, I, I feel very supportive from the people that are around me, uh, both in the office and my friends. So I think that the way that I overcome this challenge was to think the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing in, in first place and, actually, and also concentrate on the feeling that I have when I present and I share my passion about light. So yeah, I think that that was a very nice challenge to have this year. Okay, so um, I can think of many people, both male and female, that have uh, mentored me and inspired me and supported me during the last few years. But I would like to talk for the very first one, the person that really inspired me more than anyone else and the person that really helped me to realize my mission as a young lighting designer and that person is Chiara Caruzzi. Um, the very first moment that I met Chiara while I was studying in Stockholm I realized that this is what I want to do. I want to be the light and raise awareness and to the general public actually, because this is very important to raise awareness to the general public about lighting, but most importantly to empowering the young generation by supporting them and by giving them the opportunity to um, connect with people around the world. And this is what Cara uh, did for me, um, yeah, and many other things, but this is, that this is a really important thing that I really want to do as well, to connect and link young professionals and give them this opportunity to meet their role models and uh, yeah, get it, be inspired. So um, with Cara as a mentor, I learned that if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. So. Kara, thank you very much for everything. So, yeah, I will say again that light is everywhere. 
It's all around. So from the time that I open my eyes in the morning, I can count unlimited um, uh, moments that I just smile because I see something different. I, for example, I'm walking to the, to the office and I will notice a different shadow, a different reflection, something different, like a different material. And I'm always surprised, like, oh, wow, how did I didn't notice that before? Maybe it's a different time, the position of the sun, different month. So uh, it's like that you can never be bored with light. If you la love light, it's like you're always finding something that attracts you and uh, captivates your attention. So um, what I love doing is uh, sharing uh, these interesting moments of my daily life on my blog, uh, which is Archifos. And uh, the interesting thing about that is that I have noticed many friends of mine that are, doesn't have to do anything with lighting design, that they are uh, sending me pictures very often now um, with something, a nice contra um, shadow, contrast or anything. And they're like, oh, Katya, look, I just uh, saw this image and I thought about you and about light. And so I found really interesting how light can inspire everyone, not only the lighting designers. So, yeah, I, I believe that light will never stop inspiring me. Yeah, that's it. I want to say that from my own experience the last few months, um, I believe that there is something changing with uh, the um, new generation of lighting designers, the new generation of female lighting designers. So in London at Looks Live 2018, on the first competition that I participated for the Young Lighter of the Year, we were four female finalists and that was really amazing. It was the first time that I saw that I met this amazing woman and get inspired. And also in the second competition that I participated uh, from PLDC, the challenge, the interesting thing of that was that in Berlin, on the semi-finals, we were 16 women out of the 18 people that actually made it to the, this round. And finally, the six finalists that were selected to present their topics in Rotterdam next, next October, we were all women. So I think that's really incredible and there are many women out there that we want to talk and share our message about light. Talking now about the project, I think that initiatives like the Women in Lighting project are amazing to give this opportunity to women all around the world in places that we don't really know that lighting design is uh, considered and recognized as a profession. I think that it's really amazing uh, this uh, supportive network that we are creating on this project. And the most important thing is that this project celebrates the equality of both genders. I think that this is really important. And I hope that more initiatives like that and uh, people that are in important positions, like in uh, committees and people that actually de deciding about the um, presentations in, com in conferences, they are really excited about this project and they can see that they have many um, women out there to include in the in their agenda. But of course, the woman needs to uh, feel confident and go out there and apply to competitions and conferences and participate and stand out. My message is, let's support each other and find the confidence to go out there and um, speak out in conferences in competitions and in any possible event. I don't know, TED Talks, I don't know, like anything that can uh, raise awareness for the lighting design profession, but also give valuable um, contribution to the lighting design community. 
we all have something valuable to share and uh, the Latin community is definitely open for collaborations and inspiration for both genders. And the last thing that I would like to say is find your female role model and remember that you're not alone, we are many. That's it.